Major Keene turns another page of The Dossier on Demetrius. There were 29 hours to go when the word I was waiting for came through. Hady was on my phone, making her third attempt to betray Dumitrius, and to save herself at the same time. At least, that's what I was intended to believe. We knew that Dumitrius, Yachty Bloom, and Hady were hiding in one of the warehouses in the neighborhood of the Cork Street docks. We knew that they'd been on the SS San Bernardino. We had the San Bernardino's master under arrest, and he was due for some solid questioning. And then my phone went, and it was Hady. I'd known she'd get in touch with me if it was humanly possible. When she did, I wasn't the only one who was listening to her. But I didn't know that at the time. This is Hady Bergner, and I have an important message for you. Demetrius and Yachty Bloom will be in an empty house at the corner of Abbott and Priory Streets at ten o'clock tonight. You will have to take them alone. Where are you speaking from? Oh, let me finish. They know I attempted to betray them. I will be with them in the house. At the first sign of the police, they're going to kill me like Eustace Manley. Hady, where are you calling from? A public box. There is someone coming. Yotty's coming. I must get out of here before he sees me. Come alone, Keen. If you bring police, they will kill me. They'll kill me unless you come alone. <laughs> well done, Hady. All right, Yotty. You can put your knife away. You can see Hady prefers her own life to Gregory Keen's. Why don't you let him stab me? Look at him. He hates to put his knife away. Then don't tempt him. You still need me for the second call, don't you? And you want me to watch you do away with Keen. <laughs> so I'm still safe from Demetrius, the man I loved and sold my soul to. If you insist on making small talk, Eddie, let me point out how cheaply we bought you. No, we won't go uh, up to the loft again just yet. We'll wait till we've made our second phone call. The one Keen will be so sure as genuine. How's the time? Yes. We'll give Keen 12 or 15 minutes to digest your message and get his men together. Yachty, give Hedy a cigarette and light it for her. You can see she's not happy, can't you? Well, Guts? Well, they're baiting the most obvious trap for the Major you could think of, sir. Quite so. It's as plain as the nose on your face. Um, you positive Major Keene couldn't know his phone was tapped? Uh, not a chance with this little gadget, sir. Mm, quite. All right. Back to his room, quickly. I'll handle Frayne and the yard fellows. We've no time to lose. Uh, what about the Major himself, Colonel Fentress? The Major? From the minute we walk into his room, you don't let him out of your sight. No, sir. For his own protection, you understand that? Yes, sir. Now, this is the situation as I see it. Demetrius and Yachty Bloom will be in or near the house the Bergner girl just told us about. Mm -hmm. They'll have some means of getting away quickly. And, of course, they're counting on Major Keene coming alone to save Hedy's life if possible. Yes, but surely the Major won't be taken... Well, taken in with anything so... So blooming simple, a nipper could see through it. Yes, exactly, but, um... I'm afraid Major Keene's not completely rational where Hedy Bergner is concerned, Cuts. No, sir. If he's taken in, he'll keep that phone call to himself. If he's not, he'll be looking for us this minute. You can see that, don't you, Cuts? Yes, Colonel. All right. Now, come along. Hey. Upstairs at the double. Hey, Colonel, are we putting a man on the recorder in case the Major gets another call, sir? There won't be any more calls, Cuts. Come along, upstairs, man. We want to see how Keane's taken his message from Hady Bergnard. And remember this, Cuts. Don't let him out of your sight. I sat there, with the telephone still in my hand. It was a trap. It was so obviously a trap that I couldn't believe Dumitrius was behind it. And being a trap, had Hady been forced to make that phone call, or had she done it willingly? I thought I would come apart. My head was bursting. I had to decide. If it were a trap, then I couldn't go to Priory Street alone. I might as well commit suicide by shooting myself here at my desk. But if I were wrong, if the message from Hady were real, what then? If I went after Demetrius in strength, if I surrounded the house with police, then they'd butcher Hady and she'd die knowing I didn't care, that I was prepared to see her butchered. 
The minute I sat there seemed like an eternity. Then... Ah, oh, Keen. I, um... I've just been talking to the yard. Ah, Keen, what's the matter with you? Colonel. Colonel, help me. I... Oh, what is it, man? What are you sitting there with that telephone I... for? <laughs> Give me a minute. Hmm. You, uh... You've heard from Hedy Bergner? No, no, there was no message. Demetrius and Yachty Bloom will have her in a house at the corner of Abbott and Priory Streets in 40 minutes. Unless I go alone, they'll kill her. Cuts in here. Yes, sir. Now then, Keen, come along, take hold of yourself. It's a trap for me, and I know it's a trap. But what am I going to do? My dear fellow, you're going to stay here with Tom Cuts. The affair's out of your hands now. What? We heard that phone call from the recorder room. Oh. I'm sorry, Keen. We had to do it. And now Frayne's getting his squad together this minute. You're going to surround the house? Of course. They'll kill the girl. And if they don't, she'll die with them when they make a fight of it. I might be able to make it alone. Across the roofs. Oh, don't be silly. Talk sense, man. You're the one they want. They know they can't escape and they want to take you too. They must be up against it to think you could be drawn with a blatant lure like the one Hady just gave you. But they'll kill her. Yes, of course they will. Now, face up to it, man. There's no way out. There must be a way out. Now, look here. There are three courses of action. Ignore the phone message and let Demetrius go. Try to take them alone and walk into a suicidal ambush. Or do what I'm doing, the sensible thing to do. Go to Priory Street with 20 men and exterminate Demetrius. They'll kill her, she said. They'll kill her like men, at least. I heard what she said. I'm sorry, Keen. And it'll only be a matter of minutes anyway. Remember, we've instructions not to attempt to take Demetrius alive. So, if what Hades said was true... They'll only do away with her a few minutes before we destroy the three of them ourselves. Couldn't we offer them... Couldn't we promise them safe conduct if they let Hady walk out of the house? Stay here and carry out your orders, Cuts. But we don't have to honor it, Colonel. Promise them safe conduct out of the country for Hades' life and then go in after them. After all this, Keen, what do you take Demetrius for? Can't you imagine him? He'd laugh at you. He knows we give no safe conduct. Then I'll have to come with you. I have to be there. You're staying here right in this room. And Cuts has orders to see you don't leave it. But I hunted Demetrius down. No one should be in the kill more than me. I'm not going to see you throw your life away, Keen. And having known you this long, I believe you're capable of it. No, you're staying here with Cuts. I won't do it. I'm sorry, old chap. All right, I'll answer that. Hello, Fenter speaking. Yes, friend. I see. All right. Good work. I'll be waiting for you outside with my chaps in one minute. Yes. Yes, right. It's out of all of our hands now, Keen. Resign yourself to it. Don't worry, old man. I'll keep you posted. In half an hour, the hunt should be ended and Demetrius dead. All right, Cuts. See you carry out your orders. Hmm. Fourteen minutes since your first phone call, Hedy. Good. Now we try again. This is the important one. Yossi will be behind you as before. Make no mistake. I hope Keen has already gone to the address in Priory Street. That's the one circumstance over which I have no control. But your first message was so obviously a trap that he'll surely wait to collect a squad of men. I think we've let an appropriate interval go by. I... I have to do it now. Now, hmm, pick up the telephone. Oh, what are you waiting for? Dial his number. It's not too late. Don't do it. You're asking me to do a diabolical thing. Please, please don't do it. Dial Keane's number on the embankment. I can't. You've chosen the one way to bring him here alone. He, he will let his men go to Priory Street to capture you and come here to the warehouse alone. Precisely. Now, dial a number. If you're tempted to warn Keen in the next 30 seconds, Hady, just keep a picture of Eustace Manonly in your mind. Yachty? I'm knowing. The knife. Hold it ready in front of her eyes, where she can see it. No, no, please. Now, Hady. And remember Eustace Manonly.
I'll take it if you like, Major. No. This is Gregory Keaton. Keaton. Keaton, don't go to the house I told you. It's a trap. Don't go. Where are you calling from, Jennifer? This is Heidi. I know that. Go on. Demetrius and Yachty are waiting at the house for you to come alone. They left me here, tied up but locked in. I managed to get to this phone in the same room. Come and get me, Queen, quickly before Demetrius gets back. They're going to kill me. I know they are. Where? In the attic. In the loft of the fourth warehouse from the docks in Shirley Road. All right. Leave it to me. You'll come at once? Of course. Who, uh, who was that, Major? It was a personal call, Jennifer Shaw. Which car did Colonel Fentress use, you know, Cut? The green saloon, sir. Oh, I thought he might have taken mine. No, sir. Yours is outside of the curb. Yeah. Well, in that case, Cut, stand aside. Ah, now, look here, Major. Yes. I'm pointing a gun at you, and I mean it. I'm getting out of here, and you're not stopping me. Now, come on, Tom. Stand aside. <laughs> I couldn't take cuts. I was going for Hedy Bergner, and when I had her, she wasn't going to be handed over to Scotland Yard. I was going to keep her hidden till I could get her away altogether. She was mine. She was my love. So I couldn't take Tom Cuts. There were 18 hours to go. The trap springs shut on Keen in the next chapter of this story of suspense. Dossier on Demetrius.